Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I just found a very interesting piece of news. I found out something very interesting today and look, it involves Umar Johnson and I have said before that this page is not an Umar Johnson expose, bashing, or, you know, anti-fraud warrior page. That's not what I'm trying to make my page about, but I feel the need to come on and just give out any new information I may find out about this man. And look, I am calling out all the anti-fraud warriors to come take this and fact check this if you uh, have any information but I am calling out to Psyched Perspective. I am calling out to Let's Talk with E&J, Lennon Honor, Anti-Afro Svengali's. I am calling out to Flowers and Jelly and all the other people, as well as uh, Conscious Energy, Black Anonymous, because this is where I found out this information, to basically come out and fact check this piece of information from me. Because I have found out through Conscious Energy and Black Anonymous that the whole FDMG GoFundMe school scam has not only been going on for 10 years, it has been going on for 15 years. And I found this out in a video on Black Anonymous's page. And in that video, Umar Johnson basically indirectly or directly says that in 2004, he found out about the St. Paul, uh, the St. Paul's College School and that he started opening up donations in 2004. So we're here thinking that it was 2009 when he said he was going to open the school at that point. But now I am finding out, and you can fact check me on this, I am finding out based on the video of Black Anonymous's page that he has been collecting donations or he has introduced the donation opening or he has introduced this school since 2004. So he has found out about the St. Paul's College in 2004 and has been collecting donations since. So technically it was not even five or 10 years that he's claiming that he has had this school open open or had this donation pool open for people to come and donate. He has been having this donation or he has been collecting donations since 2004. So this has been 15 years. This is has been going on for 15 years. The crazy thing is that every time I hear or you hear about this man, it's always something new that ties into how much of a fraud people believe that he is. It's as if something new always comes up and I really, the small, small, small itty bitty part of me, although I no longer support him, I no longer trust him, I believe he's a fraud and a scammer and you know, he bit off more than he can chew when it comes to this. The small part of me will say, is this man eligible or is this man worth redemption? Is this man you know, redeemable. And I would want to believe that everyone is redeemable because I am not trying to come off as one of those people who just, you know, quote unquote, wants to tear a black man down because that's not what this is about. Okay. We are always told, especially the quote unquote, anti-fraud warriors are told that, oh, you're just trying to bring down a black man. You're everything but a child of God. And at this point, I really don't care because it seems that not only do the anti-fraud warriors are trying to put out some truth or just trying to say, hey, something isn't adding up. You can clearly see from those people in their comment sections who say that you guys are right because there are not everyone... Because not everyone is coming out and making expose videos or talking points or think pieces based on Umar calling him a fraud and saying this, this school will never be built. We're just also former supporters who said, wow, I believed in this man at one point and now he has let me down. And let's just talk a little bit about Umar for a minute in terms of this school. Now, I personally believe he is a fraud, but like I have said in my past videos about him that if you don't want to say he's a fraud, let's just at the very least chalk it up to say that hey this man is a bad bad businessman he is very bad at business and look I'm in business I have an online shop I make and I sell things I'm in business so I am an entrepreneur and 
look, I have made a few of my mistakes in business, but at the same time, I am willing to open up and learn and ask questions and, you know, put forth the good qualities and the good, how do I say, materials and resources for making my business good. And if you want to know more about my business, you could check out the link down below. Now, I just think that Umar is also not only a fraud, but a bad, 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 bad businessman. And I feel like one of the things that makes him a bad businessman is the fact that One, he basically is a one-man show. This man is running on the term of, or the thinking of, one man is an island. And we all know that no one man is an island. But the thing is, Umar Johnson doesn't even have a team. He has so-called donators and supporters and rider dyers and, you know, volunteers and and things like that. This man doesn't really have a full-blown team. He doesn't have someone who knows the economics of this. He doesn't have someone who, you know, is a real estate person. And you have people online who are in real estate and who are in economic fields or who are in business and who are actually in the psychological field telling him or saying online at least that something doesn't add up this man you know is doing it all wrong and especially on the business side you know there are people who are in real estate or who know a little bit about real estate to say hey there are a couple of buildings right here that don't cost half as much as how much you raised there are a few things you can do right here there are a few ways you can go at it and he basically especially with the St. Paul school before he claimed it got sold okay he basically says that you know, he basically wants the Harvard or the Howard University of Pan-African schools, which is why he wanted to start with such a big campus, okay? And I, although I do believe it would have been great, especially to have an HBCU back in the ownership of Black people, I do think that maybe it was too big of a step. Maybe it was best for him to start small and work his way up. This man is talking about how he's going to have all these amenities and all these, you know, curriculums that are happening in his school but it seems like he wants to start too big too fast and although I believe in 2019 and beyond that we have more leeway and resources and access to certain materials and technologies that are able to advance us quicker than we could let's say in the 1800s and a little bit after that, I do think that it's a case of Rome was not built in a day. And yes, I am very impatient. I am an Aries. I am a New Yorker. So (laughs) impatience is kind of within us. All right. (laughs) But it seems like this man just wants everything done overnight at the snap of a finger. He wants uh, Rome to be built in a day or his version, his pan-Africanist utopian society to be built in a day. And when it doesn't happen, like with a lot of us, when it doesn't happen, it's a problem. It's everybody else's fault. It's us so-called coons and and agents and anti-Umar haters and things like that. But yet and still, you don't have everything you have built up. Every year you're changing the dates. Every year you're moving the goalposts. Every year, this is one of the reasons when Tariq Nasheed came out and said, this guy is a fraud, it hit the nail. It put the final nail in the coffin of my belief that this man was a fraud or at least a bad businessman because you oversell and you haven't delivered. And although I do believe that even if he oversold, there was a possibility that it could happen in the way that he said it did, it's not going to happen overnight. The way I look at that building that he claims that he has acquired, I personally don't believe if he really owns that building, especially, you know, in terms of that there are taxes on it and things like that. However, I do believe in terms of, let's say, for instance, he does have this building. I looked at the interior of that building based on videos I have seen on YouTube, and I just said to myself, okay, if you can't get this grand school that you're trying to build... At the very least, you could at least make it an after school or community center. The very least you could do that. Make it like somewhat of a YMCA. I said, you know what? If this can't be this grand school, just start small. Just make it an after school program. Make it a recreational center. That's a good place to start. Okay. But you want to achieve global supremacy. And here's why I believe that. This man, this is one of the reasons I believe he doesn't want to have a team by his side. It's because he wants to be known solely and as 
as the only person who quote unquote liberated the entire black race and achieved global a- pan Africanist, global black supremacy. He wants to be the face of that. He basically wants to be the quote unquote next Garvey or Malcolm or Martin or whatever great civil rights or liberation, black liberation, quote unquote leader. This man basically kind of wants to set up platform or foundation for himself so he can basically go down into the history books as one of the greatest and I feel like his ego is way too inflated for what he has actually been able to deliver Tariq was right this man has not really done anything tangible for the black community this man really hasn't put forth anything uniquely or anything visibly tangible anything we can say that you know it's actually helped us and in terms of what he says look I believe that people can give a good word and help us in life, but all he has really done was travel and talk, travel and talk and stroke our egos. And like Conscious Energy has said, the reason that he still has supporters or people who do still support him, whether they're new to him or have supported him since day one, it's not because of these promises to build a school. It's not because he has actually put anything tangible within our community. It's because the people who still support him like their ego stroked because he talks ish and because he talks about how bad the white man is it's because he talks about racism white supremacy and although i don't believe we should stop talking about it and although i do get upset at people who are very passive on the issues of race and racism white supremacy and how the effects of things like slavery jim crow and glow and global white supremacy has affected black people throughout the african diaspora although i'm i do not take kindly to people who are nonchalant about that i can't respect all these fake woke so-called quote unquote pro black quote unquote woke uh onk negroes and hotep dudes like umar johnson okay i think they definitely use this as a form of race hustling i also do think they kind of keep us playing the quote unquote victim mentality and although i hate when people throw that at us i have to say some of us really have wallowed in the self-pity of racism white supremacy and it's almost as if this is just church but it's been put on with a so-called pro-black woke uh conscious feel because they can wrap it up in consciousness then for some reason it's no different than what they do in the the black church or in church in general So yeah, that's really all I have to say. I mean, tell me what you think about it in the comments sections, please, if you can actually fact check me on this. This was a video from Black Anonymous. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. Also, don't forget to check out those other links down below and follow me on social media. I will actually hope to come back with more content like song covers and, you know, other types of content outside of this whole Umar Johnson stuff. I will hope to come back with something different than that. But I come on with these topics because I basically want to get some certain things off my chest and I know that there are a lot of topics based around these that I agree with that I feel like need to be talked about. So thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video.